All right, next up, if you're a writer, but not quite as prolific as Stephen King, we might have a new way for you to get those tipping and typing fingers going. Thrillist reports there's a new cafe in Japan designed just for writers. They got free Wi-Fi, plenty of outlets to plug in, bottomless coffee, but there's one teeny tiny catch. You are not allowed to leave until you finish writing. All right, and you'll be charged a dollar twenty for every half an hour that you need extra motivation, and you stay there. Yeah, you can only leave after you've finished your writing goal for the day, or when the cafe closes at seven. Whatever comes first. <laughs> I will say, I've written a couple books. You've written a couple books. It is so difficult to do because you are your own boss. It's on you to like sit down and do it and clock in and finish. And I'm like the best boss because I would sit down and be like. Boss, can I have a five minute break? And I'd be like, yes, you can. And then I'd go. <laughs> so um, you have to have some structure. What do you think of this cafe? I think it's great because it gives you the structure you need. When you're artists, you don't, you're not used to a nine to five. And so this gives you a reason to get in there, stay, and a goal to finish. Structure and accountability. Yeah. Raise of hand. <laughs> Who thinks this idea is good and should come stateside? I double with you, ma'am. What double. is your name? Caroline. Caroline, I am so with you with the double hands. Out of curiosity, why are we enthusiastically putting up two hands? I know why for me, but why for you? Because you need that accountability to just get stuff done. I'm with you, Russ. I'll do the five minute break. Oh, I'm totally. Like, yeah. Sometimes I give myself a 10 minute break too, you know what I mean? Whatever I need. Why not make some microwave salmon while you're at it? Well, <laughs> Caroline. <laughs> It wasn't bad, but I'm not saying that. Caroline, <laughs> in true writing, fashion informed, you just paid the earlier story off. Yeah, thank you, thank you for that bookend. Um, thank you. I love this idea so much, and whatever company is doing this, please come all over the world. I, I just love this. This is a, a great story to me. Do it. Totally. I want more. I have, I'm writing a third book. <gasps> I, I know, I know, and I'm Wait, like. Rossi, whoa, we haven't talked about this. I'm ready. I'm ready now. It's a little cookbook. I'm working on recipes. Yes. Ah! I know. I know. Is that exciting? Well. Oh. I'm working on it now. Is that exciting? This mm -hmm. is, um, this, the world is right with the recipes book. Because that's know. been a thing for you for a long time. It's, it's due. It's, it's how I lost, you know, 60 pounds and kept it off cooking for myself and really trying to figure out food and be healthy and be good. But I will tell you, as inspired as I am to write this book, I am like, mm, I need a break. So this is, the, I, I, I need this, I needed to hear this story today. So thank you, Drew, for bringing this one I'm, I'm glad you liked it. Thank you. Oh, and here's one I have for you. We have a little woodworker in England making a really big difference. I love this story. People reports 12-year-old Gabriel Clark has always loved woodworking. Uh, and he's a hit on Instagram, selling handmade cutting boards and bowls to save up money to buy a bike. How great is that? But now he's doing something else amazing. He's raffling off a special custom bowl for Ukrainian children. Oh, yeah. And proceeds, we love this. They're gonna go to save the children. And get this, Gabriel has already raised $327,000. Woodworking. It's wow. incredible. He is such a lovely human being. I think his work is really beautiful. Beautiful, yeah. And what a heart and soul in this beautiful human being. And um, speaking of supporting Ukraine, we want to shout out to our partners at Pluto TV. Actually, you can catch us on Pluto TV anytime on the Drew Barrymore Show channel. And um, you can check out their Ads for Change campaign because they're running free ads to get the support for incredible organizations doing work on the ground in Ukraine. Save the Children, World Central Kitchen, UNHCR, and the International Rescue Committee. So if you want to help and you're looking for a place to start because that's a huge part of it, it's just where do I start? These are great groups to go and support and you can get all the information on our website. And I always say too, like $1, $5, yep. that's it. Mm -hmm. One of these places, it will make a difference. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Thank you, Pluto. <laughs>